Hey everybody, so here's a little video about the aileron torque tubes, push rods, whatever you want to call them. So building these is pretty straightforward. No need to get into any details on that. How you choose to prime the inside of yours is gonna to be totally up to you. I'll be honest, I kinda of had some nightmares. Like I, I primed the inside and then kinda of started freaking out a little bit because this is a part that you can't really ever inspect. And so I, I primed it again and then I got some boiled linseed oil and I filled it maybe an inch or so and then kind of taped up the ends and shook it around in there and then let it drain. And now I feel, I feel pretty good about that. Um, but pretty straightforward on the construction of these. Pay very close attention to the specs. I would, um, well, I'm gonna tell you what happened to me here about the length of mine and the problem I had and then I'll let you decide whether you wanna build yours a quarter or a half an inch longer um, same thing with these. I might suggest building these about a quarter of an inch longer than it says, and at least kind of trial fitting before you final rivet. Um, kind of wish I did that. But anyways, here's what happened. When you set this, so this little piece right here, this, it's kind of, I'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand, but basically you kind of open this up and then it slides in through here and you can see it it locks into this screw and rests flat against the spar and that sets this into its neutral position. Then this in its neutral position is two and nine thirty seconds off of this um, fuel tank rib. So since I was having some issues, I went ahead and I built this little jig I had some scrap metal left over so I drilled that hole right there and then this goes flush against there I drilled it with a number 12 and now that sits flush so to set the exact length now this is set here that's set there then you start screwing in and out your bearings to get them. I ran into a problem. My bearings, so I'm gonna show you. It recommends, or the plans call for this, which is 3614. When I had these set to the correct length, I only had 0.32, roughly that, in the push rod. That was not enough to make me feel safe. The other side was a little better, but I would have felt better with another, you know, five or six threads. The recommendation when I called Vans was 50%. So forgive me. I set the camera there for a second. So 50% should look more like this by the time that that nut, the lock nut is back. So I wasn't very comfortable with it. So I stole these from my elevators and I'll order two more. These are the 3616. It is a half inch longer. So you can see it's a half inch longer. That gave me a quarter inch more on each side. And now I'm happy. Now it is one sixteenth of an inch thicker, like this, hard to tell. But since you will eventually make this bushing yourself, honestly, I didn't even shave it down because a sixteenth of an inch set in here it feels really good it doesn't feel like it's overextending when i torque that down i'll still get my two to three threads uh exposed definitely more than one i checked it i'll have 
probably three full threads exposed still. If you wanna shave that down another 16th of an inch, go for it. But basically what I did is I put the longer one here and now I checked, I have 50% of this engaged. I actually think I have a little bit more and I have 50% of this engaged. Uh, so now I feel 100% confident that this push rod, I'm set in my neutral positions. I've even checked my ailerons. My aileron is set in a neutral position. It might be off by a tiny bit, but you don't do the final rigging on that until your flap is installed. So that'll be easy once the back skins are on. I can just come in here and adjust this a hair or adjust it from this side if I have to, to, to move this, you know, another tiny, tiny bit. But that was what I went ahead to do the fix here. I'm going to do it on the other side now, and then I'll just order two more of these for the elevator push rod, which I won't need for like three years.